Hi, I'm Todd with Land of Math. There are very few things that students get more mixed up on than the least common multiple, greatest common factor. It happens every year. Kids get confused on this. In this video, what we're going to look at are three different things. First of all, what exactly is the difference between multiples and factors? Two, how do you find the greatest common factor and the least common multiple? And three, how can you take these certain math skills and apply them to other math um, topics down the line. All that coming up next on The Land of Math. Before we look at greatest common factor and least common multiples, it's important to understand a couple basics. So first of all, we're going to look at factors. Factors are the numbers that we can multiply together to get a number. So for example, number 8. The factors of 8 would be 1, 2, 4, and 8 because we can multiply 1 times 8 and 2 times 4. If we look at 12, the factors are 1, 2, 3, 4, 6, and 12. It's like 3 four, times 4, 2 times 6, 1 times 12. So if we look at number 40, we have a few more factors here. So we have 1, 2, 4, 5, 8, and then we have 10, 20, and 40. All those numbers you can multiply together to get 40, like 1 times 40, 2 times 20, and so on. For the number 19, this one is kind of unique. The only factors of 19 are 1 and 19. So these are called prime numbers. The numbers that only 1 and the number itself are the factors. So here are a few examples, um, some other examples we can look. So like 60, you can see all the different factors of the number 60 right here. And again, like 1 times 60, 2 times 30, 3 times 20, 4 times 15, 5 times 12, 6 times 10. All those right there are numbers that you can multiply together, whole numbers, to get to the number 60. All those numbers also divide evenly into the number 60. Now, multiples are a little bit different. Multiples are basically you take a number, in this case 10, and you're just going to start multiplying it by 1, by 2, by 3, and so on. So in this case, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, and so on. There's no end to the multiples. They go in forever. And here you can see kind of the example of it's just 5 times 10, 6 times 10, and so on. So multiples of 8, we're just going to basically kind of count by 8, or 8 times 1, 8 times 2. And so you can see 8, 16, 24, 32, 40, and 48. And then here are the multiples of 15. We're basically just taking the 15 and we can multiply by 1, by 2, by 3, and so on. So here's a couple of numbers where we're going to find both the factor and multiples of a certain number. So the number 12 here. First of all, what we're going to do is we're going to find the factors of 12. Well, we know 1 times 12, we know 2 times 6, and we know 3 times 4. All those numbers right there are factors of 12. Multiples of 12 are we're going to take that number 12 and we're going to multiply it by 1, by 2, by 3, by 4, and so on. So every one of those multiples keep getting bigger. Here's another example, the number 20. So the factors of 20 are going to be um, like 1, 2, 4, 5, 10, and 20. So those are all the numbers that divide evenly into it. But to find multiples, we're taking 20 times 1, which is 20, 20 times 2, which is 40, and so on, times 3, times 4, and then times 5. And it just goes on. All right, let's look at greatest common factor now. So it may, it's made up of three words, greatest, the word common, and the word factor. So if we look at the word greatest, if we look at the word greatest here, greatest basically just means the biggest. So whatever we're looking at, we're looking for the biggest. Common, again, is something we share. And a factor is a number that if we multiply together, we get a product. So let's look for the greatest common factor of 8 and 12. So we're going to find all the factors of 8. So 1 times 8, 2 times 4. So those are the four factors. For 12, it's going to be 1, 2, 3, 4, 6, and 12. So those are all the factors. If we circle the ones they have in common, we have the 1, the 2, and the 4. So those are our three common factors. So the 1, 2, and the 4. But if we're looking for the one that's the greatest, it's the four. It's the biggest of the three common factors. So that's our greatest common factor. All right, so here's another one. 
So we're looking for the greatest common factor of 6 and 12. So you see our factors of 6, 1, 2, 3, and 6, and the factors of 12. When we circle the ones they share, it's just the 1 and the 2. So the greatest common factor of this one is 2. So here we have 40 and 60. So we'll find the factors of 40, so like 1 times 40, 2 times 20, 4 times 10, and so on. And so those are all the factors of 40. You're going to do the same thing with the 60, and you see there's a whole lot more of them. We're going to circle every single one that they share in common. So these are all going to be common factors, something that they share. But because we're looking for the greatest common factor, we're looking for the very biggest number that they share. So you can see we're writing down all the common factors, but 20 is the greatest common factor. Look at least common multiples. So again, let's look at the word least common multiple. Least is going to mean basically the smallest. Common, again, we know that from the last one, is something that we share or have, like we share. And then multiple is we're basically just taking a number and we're multiplying it by one, two, three, four, and so on. So when we look at six and eight, we look at the multiples of six and we're just multiplying by one, by two, by three, and so on. And you can see all the multiples of it. Eight, we're going to do the same thing. So for example, like eight times one is eight, eight times two is 16, eight times three is 24, and so on. So it just keeps going up by 8. You can actually just keep adding by 8 every time to get the, the multiples. Now they both go on forever. What we're trying to find is the least common multiple. So you can see they both share or have in common 24 and 48, but the least common is the number 24. Now let's look at 5 and, uh, and 4. So we find the multiples of 4, so 4, 8, 12, we're just multiplying by 1, by 2, by 3, and so on. Same thing with the 5s. We look for the ones that they share in common, in this case 20 and 40. The next one they would share, by the way, would be 60. So those are the common multiples, the least common, the number 20. Here's another one. This is, I'm looking for the least common multiple of 4 and 6. So there's our multiples of 4. And you can see our multiples of 6 coming up here. We're just 6 times 1, 6 times 2, and so on. Now, sometimes people try to just multiply the 4 and the 6 to get, they think they'll get the answer. But in this case, that wouldn't work because 12 is actually going to be our least common multiple. Now, let's look at um, the 8 and let's look at the 12. On this one, we're going to find the greatest common factor and the least common multiple of two numbers. So here we're looking at the factors of these two numbers. They share the 1, the 2, and the 4. So right there, those are our common factors. The 4 is the greatest common factor. If we look at for the least common multiple, we find our multiples of 8 and a 12. And the very first one they share is 24. So 24 is our least common multiple. So again, the t for 8 and 12, Greatest common was 4, least common was 24. Now, let's look at greatest common factor used in math. Like, how do we actually use this stuff? So, the one thing about math is it builds on each other. So, if we have the fraction 8 24, we could use greatest common factor to help us simplify this fraction. The greatest common factor of these two numbers is 8. So, what we can do is divide both of these numbers by 8. In this case, we would get 1 third. Now, we're going to use the least common multiple to help us out with math. And where that's going to come into play is if we're getting ready to add or subtract a fraction. Before we can do that, we have to have the least, we have to have a common multiple. The bottom number must be the same. So the least common multiple is 24. And so once we get the common um, denominator or common multiple, we can solve it and get 13 24. Well, thanks for watching the video. Hopefully it was helpful to you. If it was, please give it a thumbs up. Um, also consider subscribing to the channel. That would be awesome. And you can also check us out on Twitter and on Instagram and of course at the Land of Math. Thanks a lot and we'll catch you next time.